Okay guys, I'm back in Genshin Impact. I got chlorine. Man, she's so cool there. Eh? Look at this. Hey. Okay. Look at this demon. <laughs> that was so cool. Okay, uh, the gacha, I will post it on... I want to put together with the second phase. So yeah, I'll put the first phase and second phase together. So I'll do that. Uh, in three weeks' time, yeah, and also got uh, no Santos. Also, so yeah, today I'm going to do the Archon Quest, Chapter Four X Six, and you can see here as well. That's cool. <laughs> After listening to the bedtime story, all the villagers had a dream. The young soul will goodbye and this people's son. Okay. Let's do this right now. Hey, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Focus mode. I don't want any interruptions. So, yes. Focus mode, please. Enable. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, I plan to just use Traveler only, with Chlorine and Santos just, to, just for fun, and Nahida just in case you get extra dialogue. <coughs> Alright, let's go to Catherine. I'm so hyped for this one. This is an Archon quest involving the Traveler. I, I was about to run up the wall, I forgot this is not watering waves. <laughs> I'm used to the mechanic. Alright, here we go. Let's begin. I can't wait. Perfect. It's you two. I have a commission here that has hunting. your names written all over it. In fact, I'd even go so far as to say you're the only ones for the job. The only ones for the job? Ah. If our help is really that important, it's probably some Archon class commission, right? But sure, we're happy to take this on. Which Archon do you need us to deal with today? If we are in Sumeru, it's Nahida, right? But, uh... I have a feeling Nahida might not even be here, but... I don't know, this is Sumeru though. I never heard of that classification before. Uh, I'll say this one instead. <laughs> the Adventurer's Guild doesn't employ okay. that kind of classification system. <coughs> In fact, this commission is also probably not nearly as intimidating as what you're expecting. Not as intimidating, but we are the ones. All it asks us to do is to find a missing person. Find a missing person? But huh? why us? Then why did you say we were the only ones for the job? I came across this commission while reviewing our backlog not too long ago. Mm -hmm. It seems simple, but our records indicate that over a dozen successive efforts to complete it have all ended in failure. Despite attempts by several accomplished and renowned adventurers, with the reputation of the Adventurers Guild and the performance of the Sumeru branch at stake, Sumeru it's branch. in our best interest to assign this commission to the adventurer with the highest completion rate over the past few years. Well, that's us for sure! Can't guarantee we'll complete it either. <laughs> All I'm asking is for you to give it your best shot. If it proves to be beyond your capabilities as well, I'll talk to the commissioner about cancelling the commission. Okay, so who are we looking for? And what is it about this commission that's made it so hard to complete? This commission was jointly issued by the residents of Vimara Village. They say one of their own villagers has gone missing. But the problem is, they don't know the missing person's name. How are we they supposed can to find provide okay. information about his general appearance. What information do we have if we don't have their name? Uh... They're all from the same village, but they don't even know his name? Hmm... If so many adventurers have failed to complete this commission, maybe this missing villager doesn't exist at all. Could it be some <clears throat> sort of a prank or something? Unless you have some other info besides name, what else do you have? Unlikely. Several villagers came by to issue the commission, and judging by their appearance and tone of voice, they seemed incredibly sincere. It certainly didn't seem like a joke to them. Besides, Putting up a commission requires a processing fee. There aren't many upsides to a prank that costs Mora to carry out. In any case, it would probably be best to go to Vimara Village and ask around first. The Adventurers Guild does have some information on hand, but I would say anything you can learn directly from the villagers would be far more reliable. 
The best way to avoid misdirection yeah. is to go okay. to the source. Alright then, let's go! Hyman starting to get really curious about this whole thing. Bedtime story. What is this bedtime story about? Anyway, Catherine, do you have anything? Hey. No, okay. <laughs> Just curious. Okay, Vimara Village. Oh wait, I forgot I have mail. Thank you for the print more gems. That was more than 600. Hmm? Oh, it's the check again. Hold on. I cut with the any red dots in my menu. Almost 1000 achievements. <laughs> okay, well. Is our commission done? No. I'll come back to Catherine later. It's been a while since we've gone here. <coughs> I'm surprised it's not Fontaine, but Sumeru. Unless we will go to Fontaine somehow. But we made it to Vimara Village! Why don't we talk to some of the villagers to learn a little bit more about the missing guy? Okay, any more you want to say? If this commission is really as challenging as Catherine made it out to be, we're gonna need to carry out a very detailed investigation. Okay. One after another. It's not related. Everyone hold hands. No extra dialogue. Okay. Sadly. I guess Hello there. You looking to buy something? I do business in this area. I'll oh, you no, no, we're adventurers. Catherine sent us to look into a commission here in Vermara Village. Ah, so you're here about that then. Ah, you're not the first, that's for sure. We've certainly made a lot of trouble for you all. To be honest, we aren't holding out much hope. Many adventurers have made their way out here, confident they'd be able to help us, only to leave soon after with nothing to show for their efforts. We pretty much had it up to here in questions, and the area around the village has practically been overturned in search of clues. But no one has been able to make any headway. So, this person we're looking for, yeah. what's his name? name? Where did he live? Does he have any relatives? Uh, I, I don't know. I really have no clue. I couldn't tell you. Okay. Guess you are really sick of answering questions. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to sound short with you. I was actually just giving you my answer to your questions. I know it may seem like we don't have anything to offer by way of information, you but I promise you, we all have a very strong impression of it. When you live in the same village as someone, you develop a lot of memories together, you know? Okay, so you know this person, but you don't really know who he is. We just don't know the specifics. Uh, maybe we did at one point, but that information is long gone by now. At, at least that's what everyone in the village seems to think. <coughs> We've all exchanged what we know, and that was the only logical conclusion. Alright, specifics aside then, what kind of person was he? Young guy. In his okay. early 20s Young probably. Guy. Incredibly kind sort of person. Kind. Always willing to lend a helping hand. I chat with him when I didn't have any customers. I even saw him stick out his neck for others on more than one occasion. <laughs> Very interesting guy, that one. If you say young guy and all, but he lives here. I was like thinking Dane, but <sighs> he lives here, so no. Now that you've started talking about him, you don't seem nearly as down in the dumps as you did before. Seems like he left a pretty good impression on you. NPC. But of course, that everyone, everyone in the know. village is pretty fond of him. We wouldn't have issued that commission otherwise. There aren't many young people like him nowadays. So genuine and pure. To think that he just up and disappeared one day. I just hope nothing bad happened. Could he have just moved away without telling anyone? No, he's not the type to leave without saying goodbye. And anyway, moving away without <coughs> being seen by a single person in the village? There's no way he would have been able to manage that. Huh. Alright, thanks for the information. We're gonna go ask around some more. I heard this quest traveler has a lot of dialogue. Where is it? <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Do you have any more info? Commit to memory. 
Seriously? I really hope he's okay. Please, we're counting on you to find him. Okay. Uh, there's another guy there. Um, Go! Wrong button. Also nothing. I tried to grapple. What am I doing? Um... Guests are here. Hi there, Papa dear. We're here to help you look for the guy that's gone missing. know this guy. Okay. Ah, so that's what brings you to these parts. Coming all this way for our sake. That's so very kind. Uh, really With your help, I trust that <coughs> young man's case is in I don't good really hands. Could you tell us a bit about him? Of course. I'm happy to help any way I can. With my failing eyesight, I'm afraid I can't offer much about his appearance. But I do remember hearing the sound of his voice. Not recently, of course. That loss has left me feeling quite empty. I don't think his parents are still living in the village. But somehow, he never seemed lonely. In fact, he was usually the one offering companionship to others. He would often take time to visit the elderly or play with the orphans in the village. And whenever someone had something on their mind, he was there to listen with open ears. He always knew just what to say. As the village chief, I owe him many thanks. Helping villagers navigate difficult moments in their lives should have been one of my responsibilities. But he was often the one rising to the occasion. Wow. He seems like such a nice and gentle person. No wonder his disappearance affected you all so much. But, um, you wouldn't happen to know any details about his name, address, or family situation, right? <sighs> I'm ashamed to admit how it, but not... I just can't remember. Even, guess... No matter how you look at it, I should know those things. Hmm. But for some reason, no matter how hard I try to remember, the information just doesn't but it's come. Not you. Everyone Perhaps my you. age really has caught up with me this time. But you all remember he exists, you just don't know anything about him. Ah, oh, it's okay. <laughs> There's no need to force yourself to try and remember. <coughs> we'll figure something Unless out. You totally don't remember him existing, understandable. Uh, probably an ermine sort thing. Well, what is this then now? Well, Trevor, what do you think? Hmm, yeah, a lot are not adding up. There's more to this. I don't think so too. Like, the name thing. It's so weird that no one remembers his name. And nobody has been able to tell us anything about his family or where he lived. It's like this guy's been erased from reality or something. Yeah, like erased from reality. That's what I thought, but people still remember him. Wait, so you're saying it's not, it's not that he's been erased necessarily, but more like he never existed to begin with? I mean, if everyone still remembers him... I would say he never existed. Okay, Paimon's gonna need some time to process it's that a bit one. Like the Aranara, I guess. Someone who only exists in people's memories? You kinda remember that, but you forgot. Uh, yeah, something like that. You two are the adventurers who just arrived, right? You're here for the Vimara Village Commission? Yep, oh, sure yeah. are. We were just looking into the case. I'm so glad to hear that. Thank goodness you haven't given up. I've been so worried the Adventurer's Guild might cancel our commission. My name is Atosa, by the way. I grew up here in Vimara Village. Anyway, I just wanted to say, please keep searching for a missing villager. I'm begging you. You have to find him. Yeah, no need to worry. We'll give it our best shot. So, were you close to the missing villager? Are there any leads you can give us? Hmm. I'm not sure this counts as a lead, but follow me. There's a place I'd like to show you. Okay. Where are you? <coughs> I'm pressing T. Stop pressing T. Okay. I know I'm used to grappling. <laughs> uh. And I, 
my stamina if I random event. Why are you random even <laughs> suddenly when it's focus experience Is mode? This the place? Ah, Under this tree? Yep. I know it doesn't look like much, but this place is very meaningful to me. It's so full of memories. We used to always sit together under this tree and talk. Sometimes we would look up at the clouds in the sky or stop to feel the wind against our skin. She even has the memory. We could sit there for hours at a time, never realizing how long it had been. I was actually adopted by the people of Amar village. The forest rangers found me in the woods as a child. I was surrounded by such good people and growing up in the village was so lively. Still, there were times when I couldn't help but feel incredibly alone. Alone? Uh, how should I put it? When something's bothering you, or when you have good news to share, you always want to talk about it with somebody. But for the longest time, I didn't know who I could talk to or if I should say anything at all. Everyone has their own problems to deal with. Even if I might want to confide in others, I don't want to become a burden. That's what family is for. Really? You know exactly how I feel? Aww. Exactly my thought, man. Wow, that sounds really nice. You're quite lucky. When it comes to our missing villager, well... I guess you could say that to me. He felt like both a family member I could rely on and a friend who could really understand me. No matter what came my way, I knew I could always talk to him. He was so thoughtful and pure and patient, too. Whenever I talked to him, he would always seem so interested, as if the things I was describing were just as important to him as they were to me. Ever since he disappeared, there's been so much I wanted to tell him. No, no, none of those things matters now. I just really want to see him again. Wow, you two must have been really close. Did he ever tell you anything about himself? If, yeah, if, if he's really close. But suddenly you don't remember his name and everything. That is very weird. Hmm. Something wrong. He mostly just talked about interesting things he saw around the village. He'd share a lot of his own wild ideas as well. Oh, right! I did ask him about his parents once. But all he said was, they're not here anymore. Okay, so his parents are already... I didn't know whether that meant they had left the oh, village or passed true, away, yeah. true, though. and I didn't want to pry. Hmm, still not much to go off of. <coughs> uh, look at me. Talking your ear off and still nothing to show for it. I'm sorry I wasn't more help. The last time I talked this much in one go was when we were still together. Hmm, come to think of it. Every time we talked, it always seemed to be around dusk. Just like right now. Time always passed by really slowly. Even when it felt like we'd been talking for hours, the sun would still be at the same position in the sky. Well, time always seems to pass slower when you're relaxed, right? Uh, what's wrong, Traveler? Always the same time of day and time never seemed to pass. What do you mean? Yeah, this is not um, just a normal missing person. What do you mean? I, I'm not getting what Travis is thinking. Oh, shit. Hey, look at those hill trails over there. Doesn't it seem like they're acting a little Again, strange? Again, hill are people are actually people but turn into we know that are we are we really gonna fight them <laughs> oh a piece of speech okay wait uh, the abyss order could they be the ones behind all this are we going to do oh shit hold up okay this is oh shit never mind uh oh we've been spotted quick get ready to fight 
Okay, we're fighting the Abyss Order, and it's Pyro Shield. I'm a Hydro Traveler, so it's fine to fight solo. <laughs> I don't know why I'm using Hydro Travelers, <laughs> but it seems fair. Hold up. You know what? There you go. Oh shit, we have a family here. <laughs> Hold up. Seriously? You are really gonna do this? What? Level 92? What? I just realized their level. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. I did not expect level 92. Oh. Okay, hold up, hold up. Okay, hold up. I did not realize their level. I thought it's gonna be an easy battle. Hold up. Oh shit! Let's find a bag of food. That did not go well. No, you don't. Okay, I I was not prepared for this. <laughs> Immersion was a bad idea. Immersion was a bad idea. I did not expect. I should have been a uh, what at least uh, Kazu House. Uh, fuck. Why is Travis so weak? <laughs> One down, two down. Why do you make them double like Okay, you can fast forward this if you don't want to see this, but I'm gonna try and survive this. This is stupid. I should have leveled up my chlorine a bit more, but I can't actually. <laughs> That's a uh, not enough material. Monsters to show up. If you hadn't been here, I'm not sure what I would have done. It was no trouble. That was trouble. I did not expect. <laughs> yeah, what's the or abyss order doing here? Hmm. It must have been. Think about must it. Have been. The hilly trolls around Brulara Village have been a lot more active lately. They seem agitated and would often attack anything in sight. Chief Amadea <laughs> doesn't allow the children to play in the area around the village anymore. Hmm. Maybe the yeah. Abyss Order really is involved. Well, you should head back and check out the situation in Vimara Village just in case. If the Abyss Order is plotting something, that could spell trouble for the villagers. Is the Abyss Order actually changing the fate of people? And that's why people don't exist now? 
Holy shit, I need to heal up <laughs> after that. Wait a second. The yes, Dane's it's, slave. It's Sasuke, let's go. What's he doing? Okay, he's taking out the abyss order, I assume. Ah, it's you two. Oh, a friend of yours? Well, I'll leave you all to it then. I should head back to the village and check up on Chief Amadea and the others anyway. <coughs> see you later! Yep, see you later, Tosa! <sighs> okay. It's been a year. Why do you always have to pop up out of nowhere like that? Is it your life's mission to jump scare us or something? It's hardly personal. Or intentional, for that matter. Well, as long as you and sense. I are both in pursuit of the Abyss Order, we're bound to cross paths. We're always looking for the Abyss Order, so it makes sense we meet you here. Ah, so you're here to investigate the Abyss Order, then? That would explain the monsters you were fighting just now. Naturally. Hold on. Are you not here for the same purpose? We ran on accident. Hmm. No matter. It may have taken you a while to catch on, but I'm sure you've also realized by now. Yes. But there's something strange about this place. The Abyss Order is most certainly planning something in this area. Or worse, their plan could already be in motion. So you think the Abyss Order is behind the hilly trail activity in the area? As things stand, I highly <laughs> doubt that is their primary motive. The thing is just hilly I would imagine the increased hilly trail activity is merely a byproduct of whatever it is they're really trying to accomplish. What did the people have turned into Hilichos? Oh, that's not good. There's no, there's no way lah. Still, the Hilichos activity is causing a lot of problems for the people here. We should stick around for a while and protect the village, don't you think? The best way to protect them is by figuring out what the Abyss Order is truly planning. That is how we prevent further tragedy. And you shall have them. I never intended to hide anything from you. Don't worry. There should be ample time to talk. Okay, when are you playable? <laughs> <coughs> uh, I did not expect <laughs> the uh, four of this speaking huh. four of this major So that was the commission that brought you here to Vimara Village. Someone who seems to only exist in people's memories. That is indeed quite intriguing. I would agree that it's unlikely you have a simple missing persons case on your hands. However, any possible connection to the Abyss Order is still unclear. It appears all we have by way of clues is increased hilly churl activity. And that is certainly not much to go off of. Right! That mysterious voice he heard in his sister's memory. The one who called himself a sinner. Who is he? Oh, we're bringing back that one, huh? Yes, please answer. You said he might have seen us? Hmm. Traveler, let me ask you this. Oh, straight away to Do this Do you question. believe your sibling to have betrayed you? Betrayed? Hmm. I sense hesitation in your words. After all, you still haven't figured out the whole truth of what happened. There's still hope for the two of you to reconcile. Irreparable damage has not yet been done. The sinner you wish to know about, his situation is different. He and his fellow sinners have long betrayed me, and long betrayed their nation. His name is Vedderfolnir, <gasps> the visionary. Vedderfolnir. Oh, and you mentioned visionary. Okay. Uh, what's his, what's that girl's name again? Uh, he mentioned Vedafonia as well. And okay, okay, okay. So this this person is the visionary. I'm loath to admit it, but he is also my king, my older brother. Excuse me. Bed. I'm glad I avoid any spoilers here. I'm glad I'm playing on day one. Okay. Your brother? 
What happened between the two of you? What really happened in Kanria back then? There were five of them. The five sinners of Kanria. Oh. Eh. Hold up. The wise <laughs> Roptatir. The visionary. And my Vedafine. daughter is one of them. Gold. Surtalogi as well. The foul Surtalogi. And Rehir of Solnari. Revier. Okay, now I remember the girl's name. Skirt. Skirt's master is one of them, right? And not Verdafonia, not Ryan Daughter. Sertologi, yeah, the foul Sertologi. Okay, Sertologi, the must. Okay, okay. That's why I recognize Sertologi name. The sinner, Ryan Daughter. Skirt's master. Two more we don't know. No matter how eroded my memory may become, I will never forget their names. One day, Ooh. I shall have my vengeance. This is the line. Wait, some of those names sound really familiar. Line Daughter is yes. the one who created Albedo. Thank you. Sertologi <laughs> is Skirk's master. Yes, and uh, one more. What was it? Uh, okay, no. Now we know that like, Verdorfonia is this sinner then. Okay. And the one we just learned about, Dane's brother, Vedafolnir. If he was the voice of the sinner, then the one who yeah. inspired Clotar to create the Abyss Order was, was him! Dane's brother, what? Then the stone slates we found in the ruin in Fontaine, that was Vedafolnir's doing? Really? We did say we don't know who left the slates. Ah, okay. They were once people of great esteem in Kanria. Those who carried the hopes of the nation. They were the best of their peers, outstanding <coughs> in their respective fields. Important big law drop man. Six of us. Together. Six of us? We should have been the ones to prevent the disaster. The ones to stop the Vinster King from continuing to rock Vinster the foundation King? of the world. Rock the foundation of the world. Yet, deep within, the five of them craved something more. They could not resist the call of the Abyss, and divided among themselves a power that could destroy the world. So, five of them went to the abyss including this child master as well everyone so they became sinners but also transcendent beings each in possession of world shattering power <coughs> okay and when the cataclysm occurred not one of them stood up in defense of their nation not one came forward to prevent the tragedy I see. and for that they shall never have my forgiveness. Oh. Yeah, so it's only Dane Slave that, uh. But people say Dane Slave failed to protect. But because he is the only one, the other five didn't even help. Then my sibling came in contact with your brother. Indeed. If they are not stopped, okay. the day is sure to come when they will also betray the entire world. Okay. Okay. This is the instant's perspective. Of course. As I said, I never intended to hide anything from you. Okay. So... Dean, what have you been looking into all this time? I've continued to investigate the questions surrounding the Loom of Fate. Uh -huh. It's been quite some time since the initial operation was launched. By retrieving the eye of the first field tiller, we were able to stop part of their plan from yes. coming to fruition. Okay, that was a long time ago. Oh, Paimon remembers! Weren't they going to use it to corrupt Osile and make a god or something? But they didn't. 
Indeed. However, it's obvious that was just some sort of technical experiment. The eye was integral to their plan. Yet somehow, despite failing to obtain it, they've skipped the experimental phase and found some other way to keep moving forward. There are many signs pointing to that effect. Then what should we do? It's not too late, is it? Our most pressing concern is to determine the purpose of the Loom of Fate. From there, we'll be able to deduce the Abyss Order's true objective. Based on the intel I've gathered so far, I suspect the Loom of Fate is related to the Ley Lines in some way. Go back to Ermin Soul. Ask Nahida for help. <laughs> I don't know. Or just go to a yellow blue Ley Line. Traveler. You were able to observe your yes. siblings' memories last time, yes? I believe that was due to the fact that the ley lines in that area were unstable. My recent investigation has shown that Abyss Order activity in a particular area is usually followed by a series of issues with the ley lines. Wait! In our commission here in Vamara Village, the person who seems to exist only in people's memories, could it be connected? What a coincidence. I guess they're using this villager. It's certainly possible. I'll join your investigation tomorrow. This missing persons case could very well turn out to be the key to unraveling these mysteries. Well, if we're teaming up with Dane again, we're gonna need all the energy we Give can us get. A trial Let's try investigating somewhere a little Impossible. further away tomorrow. <coughs> okay. And it's already tomorrow. Yesterday, <laughs> it's all Dane's fault saying all that complicated stuff. Well, let's go find Dane. We've got a lot to do today. <coughs> <coughs> Let me heal up first. Yeah, let me heal up first. I should equip better gear because I think if we we're really fighting a beast order like that. <laughs> at least equip better stuff I uh, have this weapon but I'll borrow Arakino's weapon for now I guess temporary I'll switch back once this Archon quest is done electro damage bonus I'll take from uh shit. What does Arakino use? Oh this. Okay, then just stick with that. I'll take a random electro damage bonus from somewhere. Borokachins. I, I hear this is the best weapon, but I cannot enhance. Uh, I'm running up. I don't have that. But okay, and artifacts are great. At least I won't die so fast. Lah. Let's make it. Uh, Yeah, let's make it 16 <laughs> And also... Santos will be a problem here Yes, no artifacts, that's why it died quickly Um, I don't know what's, what's the recommended for him Just slap on any random stuff. <coughs> any 
any unequipped stuff. Maybe you can use gilded. You can feel Nahi down. Uh, Dendro. Type EM. Temporary. <laughs> Gilded, any gilded stuff? I don't think so. One, two, three, four. Young thing. Okay. Yeah, that will do. Alright. Just make sure I don't die so quickly. I guess it's fine. Alright. I still want the immersion, so I want to use Traveller and Nahida to check if any extra dialogues. Oh. Yeah, we have grappling hook. Let's go. I doubt we can check things live here. Let me try. Oh, we can. But nothing. Okay. <coughs> game? Hello, game? Why are you just zoning out over here? <sighs> hmm? Why? What's wrong? Did something happen? A missing person from your commission. Could you describe them to me? Oh, uh. Oh! Uh, exactly. <laughs> young guy? Early 20s? Seriously, Dan, what's going on? But why are you. There appear to be certain memories in my mind that aren't there before. Is this just added? Memories of him. Memories added into our minds? But uh, maybe maybe we just talked too much about him yesterday and you had a weird dream or something? No. It wasn't a dream. They're memories. Memories that suddenly appeared in my mind after I woke up. Ooh, okay. You didn't expect this. And I'm certain I've never met this person before. What did you remember? I remember handing him the eye of the first field tiller. What? What? Okay, so this missing person definitely has nothing to do with the abyss order then. <laughs> this guy is just using Dean now in his dreams. Indeed. And it appears he possesses the ability to implant memories into the minds of others. What? Wait then. Making All fiction the real. The villagers have of him. Might be fake. Could they be fake too? Maybe they never knew him at all. What? <laughs> I did not expect this twist. I was expecting, yeah, we just don't remember this guy. Everyone forgets. Well, why would he do something like that? Whatever the Abyss Order is planning, an important truth has been revealed to us this morning. What sort of truth? That their goal is still to obtain the eye of the first field tiller. They haven't stopped searching for it. And they obtain it just overnight. When in Dane's dream somehow or somehow or maybe in the past. Maybe change something in the past. I am the only person who knows its location. Perhaps implanting that particular memory was an attempt to interfere with my mind in some way. Maybe they interfered with the past, that's why we remembered suddenly. What if it's real? Your concerns are not entirely unfounded. I don't believe the Abyss Order is capable of altering reality like that just yet. However, Considering their single-minded <coughs> pursuit of the eye, yeah. I would see an equal level back? of caution is so in order back? on our part. Come with me. 
We must check whether the eye is still in our possession. Wait, it's not there anymore, right? Didn't we take it? Where did oh, you put it? so you're going to take us to where you hid it? Yeah, that's suspicious. Thought of that. Let's go. Of course. It might be bait, but I guess we have to roll with it for now. Uh, 800 meters, so we're not going back to Mondstadt. Somewhere in a castle nearby. Sumeru and the chasm nearby. Okay. <laughs> Stop pressing T <laughs> And no I can't run through walls Just climb in that mode uh, Even jumping might not be a good idea God damn it this is not watering waves <sighs> For sure. Wait, why is there... Are we going to a domain? Well, let's go check to see if it's safe. Traveler, wait. <sighs> oh no. We've no time to lose. Let's head inside. Let's just... That's a sudden change. He's gonna tell something, but then. Hey, wait up! <coughs> what is this power? Havoc. <laughs> Havoc element. Usia. Recommend to bring Pyro. God damn it. Seriously, I still want to bring this team. Uh, you know what? Let's just go with it. But yeah, I do not have a proper DPS. Eh? Screw it. We're back in the chasm. Oh boy. Chess, some fungi. Water check into the shadows. Oh, that's so cool. That's cool. Not watering waves. 
stop right right here. The mechanisms here have changed over time. You can access the upper floor through the side door. There's no echo. Perhaps you should try reactivating the mechanism over there. Oh, it's not. Okay, it's not chess. We're still Sumeru, we can still use... We have grappling hooks. <laughs> we have grappling hooks. Let's go. Mm. Thank goodness we have this. Chess. One, only one. Okay, that's not so bad. Are you waking up? Yep. Excuse me. Okay, yes, okay. <laughs> Ooh. Now that felt like what was the way to do Okay. Start. That opens one, I guess. are pointing in the direction indicated by the light. That should unlock the mechanism. Okay. So that's what this is. Oh, rotate. Okay. How do you know which is which? Ah, I see. I understand. Rotate this one. But wait. Um, I just realized we need. <coughs> We need uh, only those three lights. I thought there's four. Destination is just up ahead. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know. They say these. Um... <laughs> Imagine the game is the one trait is the the traitor. <laughs> what is gonna happen? What happened here? I swear there's something here. No, there's no way. There's no T right now. area 
<laughs> this is the one in the trailer. Will you find something here? Looks like we can't go any further. Oh. Be on your guard. I sense the presence of the abyss. Oh, wait. Oh, of course it's you. <coughs> We're gonna fight an abyss like to level 92. Of course it's you. Oh, no, no, no. Get to the shower. Space. You're the cryo one. Excuse me. Why you need pyro? Sweet. Oh, we just use that so. Florin is so cool, man. Memories were a trap. The Abyss Order just wanted to follow us here. I think then you have a plan, right? There's no way you just let this happen. Now that they're in the vicinity, we should have a chance to see. What is this mind thing? Dane? What's wrong? Can you feel that? There's been a disturbance in the ley lines. It must be the work of the Abyss. Trevor doesn't feel anything. Maybe Paimon doesn't. I don't know. Paimon should. Wow, you must be really sensitive to that sort of thing. Paimon doesn't feel it. doesn't feel it. You two, do as I say. Use that mechanism over there and leave this place. The Abyss Order is putting something in motion. If you return to Vimara Village, I suspect you might finally have the opportunity to locate the missing villager. Suddenly we will okay just think of it as a way to divide and conquer okay i think i have a plan but i have a feeling there's something else that we don't want to see then does have a point but something is off
is Lumine gonna come out or something? Oh shit. Oh shit. This music. Would be the only way to meet with you face to face. Oh. You risked your safety and that of the eye. That's quite the gamble, Thamesliff. But I believe that I am the one walking into a trap laid by the Twilight Sword. So you came here all on your own? What about those followers of yours? When the Twilight Sword is prepared for battle, any army I could send would only be marching to their doom. Better that I face you alone. I know you must have a lot to say. But if it's a conversation you want, you'll have to defeat me first. What happened between the two of you? Oh shit. Oh man. And is it is this Dane Sleeve's trap? The abyss order's on the move! The ley lines are all out of whack! We better hurry back to Vimara Village and see what's going on! The map is locked. I can't even press the map. What happens if I leave? Paimon will not say... Will it be Paimon saying? Where are you going? We still haven't finished what they asked us to do! Okay, at least it's a different dialogue. I'm... I'm glad it's... A different dialogue, even though it's my mom. <coughs> <coughs> okay, what do we got? Hey, look at those hilly trails over there. Weren't they acting super agitated just a little while ago? Why are they so calm all of a sudden? Something's up. What? Flying? Something's flying? What did In you hear? The world, they bade farewell to the shrouded sun. Oh, whose voice is this? At last, they no longer needed to dwell on their suffering, or try to differentiate between various thoughts of blasphemy, such was the price they paid, and thus their souls became cleansed and pure. Uh, did you hear that? Time on, so what was that sound just now? It sounded so gentle. Sounded Could like that voice be comforting the hilly trails in some way? I would say it's almost like, uh... Traveler's voice, but maybe it's not. Oh, this is weird. Let's check if this is happening anywhere else. Doesn't it sound like Traveler, but I guess it's similar. This is Zach's voice. Or not. Is it fine if I take the fruit? <laughs> um, I'm checking on the hidden trail. I guess not this one. <laughs> This one? Looks like the same thing is happening over here <coughs> too. The heli trails are calm. You see, we're both still here. We've reclaimed an endless amount of time to love. Release your tears. You no longer need to hold back your sorrow. They are like humans. Right? Yeah. Over there, it looks like they're sleeping. More In voices. the end, he whispered softly, 
Sleep well, father. Sleep well, my beloved people. Father? When you awake, that which differentiates us shall be no okay, more. Okay, say father, definitely not traveler. <laughs> it almost sounds like a poem or some kind of story. Well, now that the hilly trails have calmed down, Vimara Village should be safe at least. Let's put this situation to the side for now. Dane said this might be our chance to find the missing villager, so we should head back to Vamara Village before it's too late. <coughs> now we go there. And I'm glad I'm not with you. I see everything. If you think that every monster likes to compose poetry. <laughs> You are sorely mistaken. I made a mistake, too. What? Okay, that's a normal NPC. <laughs> but, uh. It's still locked within the map. So, so it's just like a duplicate hey. of the map. Stupid. Yeah, okay. Stupid. It's literally the same thing. Compare the options one after another. Is my brother still not graduated? Right. I see everything. <coughs> Grandpa Amadea, is everyone all right? The abyss order seems to be up to something nearby. Tell me you have forgot about this person or something. The abyss order? This is the first I'm hearing of it. Thank you for your concern. But as far as I'm aware, it's been business as usual here in the village. Well, that's good to hear. Oh, also, you didn't happen to come across any clues about the missing villager while we were gone, did you? Hmm? Someone's gone I knew missing, it. you say? I called it. Who would that be? So every so it's true that this missing villager thing is a false thing. But they didn't say we might find the missing villager. Not because we found info. That was just a plan for us to get out of here. Huh? Yeah. You don't remember? Well, you know, the young guy from Vamara Village. The one you've been <coughs> looking for all this time. You posted a commission with the Sumeru Adventurers Guild. That's kind of the whole reason we're here, actually. Your missing persons commission. Ah. Uh. I do apologize, you two. I hope I'm not worrying you too much. I'm sure it's just my age Probably making me forgetful again. At least right now, I can't seem to recall whatever it is you're referring to. Perhaps you should try asking someone else. But how is that? Uh, all right. Thanks for your help, Grandpa Amadea. It's not just Amadea. Something's definitely not right. We just talked to Grandpa Amadea about the missing villager. <coughs> There's no way he could have forgotten all about him just like that. Remember what Dane said? What do you think, Traveler? Could everyone's memories of the missing yeah. villager have been erased again? Well, you can check with others first. You're right. We should narrow down the possibilities first. Let's go ask someone else then. <sighs> so, that means the Abyss Order is not, uh... <laughs> Messing around with this memory thing again. Don't tell me the children of the forest are some sort of wild vegetables. Researching human physiology. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Into the shadows. I see everything. No dialogue. Someone's gone missing? Who? Uh, okay, that just as it. expected. Um, that guy you said a bunch of nice things about earlier? The one you always used to chat with. He's around 20 years old, and you said he was a kind, warm-hearted person? Oh, I know who you're Wait. talking about. Wait. Really? You remember? There aren't many young people who've earned that kind of praise from me. If you're certain that's what I said, then there's only one person who fits the bill. No doubt about it. 
Why'd you say he's gone missing? Yeah, I just saw him leave the village. There was someone else with him too. Wait. They couldn't have gone far. This might be a different person though. If there is someone that you you suddenly remembered about it. Strange. Hiram seems to remember him. And apparently he just saw him? Do you think maybe it's not that there's something wrong with people's memories, but that we've somehow returned to a time before he went missing? Oh. So you're saying this is not the same time that we were? You're saying we return to the past for some reason? Oh no! <laughs> I knew it's gonna be one of these. What's really going on? Okay, I might be wrong. So people have forgotten about the person. We return to a point before it took place. We are traveling someone's memories. Oh, okay. My theory was the first one. Just like what happened with Greater Lord Ruka Devada. Originally, no one remembers him because there's been a change in people's memories. But it doesn't seem like it now, after the second one. This is our second option, but maybe it's wrong too. If we really did travel back to a time before he disappeared, that could explain why the villagers said he hadn't gone missing. But what's this? If this person only exists in people's memories, maybe we're in someone's memory right now. Why are we in someone's memory right now? We just left the area? Well, Dane is... Hmm... There's something Dane didn't tell us. If it's someone's memories... No right. way! I had totally forgot about the Leyland disturbances! <coughs> We're in someone else's memory! Just like how you entered your sibling's memory last time! Whose memory is this then? If this is not very old years ago, it's just like recently. That would also explain why we seem to be at a time before he went missing. It's a memory after all. Right. If he's someone who only exists in people's memories, then we're finally on the same turf. But didn't Baron just say that he saw him leave the village with someone? Where should we go <coughs> look for him? If he left the village with someone, let me see was he missing at all. Who knows how long this late line yeah. disturbance is gonna last? We don't know how long we this might was. not have that much time and we don't even know whose memory this is! Good idea! That'll help us narrow things down. We pretty much figured out that the missing villager has the ability to implant memories into the minds of others. Right! That! Can we try to figure out more about him using what we know of his ability? It's a visionary or something. Like, does it maybe leave a trace that would somehow give him away? The new memories could prefer deep blending with the old ones, there's be some kind of tell. The weakness in the missing person's abilities is scenes from false memories will not change. Time does not pass within false memories. False memories are easily forgotten. I'm not sure about this. All the memories seem to be set in or near Vimara village. But I'm still not sure if they're restricted to this location. If time is allowed to pass within the false memories, there's a higher chance they might conflict with someone's original recollection. That would make it much harder. No. There's a difference between memories that arise from lived experiences and those that are implanted into the mind. Perhaps it has something to do with time. <coughs> False memories are easily forgotten? I don't think so. Maybe not. Yeah, no. We don't have any way to prove whether certain memories were simply forgotten or never existed in the first place. Will not change. No. no. Based on what we know so far, there isn't any evidence to support times. that conclusion. Alright then. No wonder! All this time and the sky hasn't changed a bit! That must oh, be... right. Time isn't passing! Time is stopped then. That's why it's always... The, the people say it's like exactly this time. That's the 
tell of the fake memories. The implanted memories are basically taking place okay. outside of the regular 24 hours of the day. I sh Does that mean I can't even use the clock right now? If the memories included the regular passage <coughs> of time, it would be easy for people to tell that something was off, like there could be overlap or something. People might start to wonder why they remember doing two different things at the same time of day. That's why he makes sure the memories take place at a specific moment in time rather than over a period of time. Whose memory is this? Seems to have an obvious answer. Ha 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 Dainsley? Atosa Amadia. Atosa has a memory that seems to match this. Amadia? Doesn't remember much. Dainsleaf has a memory of this. Ooh. Let me check. The color of the sky coincides <coughs> with the moment in time she described. We thought Chief Amadea forgot about the missing villager, but it turns out we're at a moment in time before the village issued the commission. Ainsliff had memories implanted into his mind. Could it be that it's happened more than once? If Dainsliff made a trap, you think Dains is sus again? No, no. That doesn't seem. So it's Atosa then. Oh, right! That's exactly what Atosa described! Come to think of yeah, it. Yeah, we remember this. Every time we talked, it always seemed to be around dusk. Just like right now. Time always passed by really slowly. Even when it felt like we'd been talking for hours, the sun would still be at the same position in the sky. That was the hint. Yep, that has to be it. This is definitely Atosa's memory. To the tree. Yeah, though. that's where they'll be. Okay. Can I press menu? Oh no, I can't. It's a leaf. Okay, cannot. That means I cannot change time. Very clever. She looks like a so you see, Granny Jihiet was a mercenary when she was younger. She just talks like that out of habit. She's not trying to scare the children on purpose. <laughs> oh, there I go again. Always talking about my own things. Do you maybe have anything you want to share? Um, it's okay if you don't. You you could also just so this is the missing person talk about what you think of me yeah this is the missing person but why does this missing person look like someone from Cambria? oh i uh he's I, I the think voice you're incredibly strong and he's the voice thoughtful young woman you'll meet many amazing people and live a very happy life you won't miss someone like me huh are those your friends over there um No. Maybe. Why does he look familiar? He's saying he's familiar? Is this curry bear? No way. Oh right! This version of Atosa hasn't met us yet! Yes, but why are you saying he's familiar? Friends? I guess you could say that. It must have taken them a lot of effort to find me. I mean, the costume is a uh, person from Kanria. So, I should see what they need. I'm sorry, Atosa. We'll have to continue this conversation another time. Another time, huh? Um, yeah, okay. I'll head back to the village then. 
talk to you. Might be so some other person. Other might not be Kari but I really don't know. Let's see. I mean, Kari was young. Did he grow older? <laughs> Doesn't make sense though. It's nice to see you, traveler. I believe this is the first time we've met. Okay. If if this is the first time we've met, you're. <gasps> it is. It is. That hand. No. No. <laughs> Curry bear. I, I want to hear what he's saying though. I mean. Born into abject sorrow, he shall now become the loom of fate. It's Curry bear. But I want to check the rest. The founder of the Abyss Order. The man who broke the curse of immortality. He's dead. Oh, now I know why he says that. Oh. Dane's brother. One of the five sinners of Conria. This is very easy. You're... Kari Bear Alberic. His voice. We have voice. Let's go. This is Kari Bear when he... is older. Well, no. I should... I, I, He, he was sound young because he was in a spiritual body, but now he's human. Oh, you know me? That's quite a surprise. Oh shit! I don't believe I've met you before. No, we have. Oh, I see. It was the memory, wasn't it? Oh yeah, it? right. We haven't. <laughs> Your sibling's memory. We haven't. You saw the me from back then. You're right. We haven't. That was the sibling memory. This is Atosa's memory. I came here to say goodbye to her. It is Atosa's memory, okay. But I suppose <coughs> I'll just leave her a message instead. Come, let's find somewhere else to talk. <coughs> so the limb of fate is Curry Bear. What is this? Will it change to English? I can't read that. Where are we going anyway? <laughs> the tree... The proof of existence This is the place where we will meet our sibling. But where are we? I will press M. Uh, Karibe? I can't even use Nahida. Where does this water look? What is the tree? I suppose you could call it the realm of my consciousness. I'm someone who no longer exists in the real world after all. As you well know. So Curry Bear becomes the loom of fate. Means he doesn't exist, but he can make. Huh. Uh, it's nothing. I still have enough strength to play the part of a good host. <laughs> I've always hoped that I'd get the chance to talk to you like this. Okay. And now, the time has finally arrived. Yeah. Extreme sorrow and pain. Hope and regret coursing through your veins. And a degree of abyssal power defies comprehension. Father told me that once I possessed all those elements, I would become the loom of fate. But, despite his intentions for me, 
I never truly became the loom of fate. I was merely used as a means for its construction. In truth, I died the moment I set everything in motion. The person you see before you now is nothing but a remnant of consciousness left over within the loom of fate. Kariba is dead, that's why you no longer exist outside of people's memories. As for your question, the Loom of Fate is a device capable of weaving ley lines. Weaving? In its primitive form, it can only be used to create and implant memories. But, as more of it is completed, its power becomes stronger and stronger, until finally, it has the power to weave real ley lines of its own. Once fully completed, the moment it gains the power to weave ley lines, it loses the lower level ability to influence memories, but it also becomes a tool that can change the entire world. So he can implant memories, that's his ability now. Yes, I have the ability to control the loom in its semi-completed form. <coughs> I suppose you can think of it as a form of compensation. After all, its existence cost me my life. Uh huh, yes. But. I think because he. He. No, I wouldn't say he lived. Maybe he did live there. Why did you implant memories of yourself into the group of the Mara village? I think because you originally do live there or something. I don't know, that doesn't make sense though. After... After Kanria... Well... Klota stayed in Sumeru, right? Ah, that... I was wrong to implant those memories. I'm sorry I caused so much trouble. Not only for everyone in the village, but for you as well. I just wanted them to feel like I once existed in this world. I want to feel that you exist again. As if I had a chance at life. And that's why. I know what you must be thinking. Why would I do something so meaningless? But I just... I just couldn't accept it. I had to know what it would be like if I had my own life. What kind of person I would be. What other people would think of me. Chief Amadea, Baram, Granny Jahia, Atosa. And everyone says he's a very kind guy. What would it be like if I could live alongside them? No cataclysm, no curse. Just a quiet life in a peaceful village. I was curious, so I selfishly <coughs> tried to have my own life. Even if... Even if that meant piecing together the version of myself that could have been... One memory at a time. I know it sounds stupid. <laughs> After all... My life ended a long time ago. Any chance at living was stripped away from me when I was eight years yeah, old. Was eight. My He's consciousness boy. left to mature in an illusory world of nothingness. Even the form you see before you was nothing but an invention based on my father's appearance. An imagined version of what I would look like if I had the chance uh, to grow up. That's why. One did. <coughs> No wonder the traveler he looked familiar because he looked just like Lota. So this is what he looks like when he grows up. It's just a, it's just a form. Mm. I know, but there's nothing I can do to make them find me. If I could exist in the real world, I would return without a second thought. And surprise them with the suddenness of it all. But, well, that's not possible <coughs> for me. If Kari Bear is doing all this memory thing, 
Does that mean the Abyss Order is just looking for this... For him again? I don't know. Your existence was comfort to them, yes. I know. Dainsliff. Twilight Sword, you mean? Uh, no need to meet up with him. Things should already be settled on his end. Settled? What do you mean, settled? And... Yeah, we know Cap... Calling Captain Dainsliff. Twilight Sword. So... Whose side are you on? Right now? And are we on the right side? <laughs> Even... Exactly. As someone who could only exist in people's memories, the fact that I'm able to talk to you in my consciousness like this can only mean one thing. The loom of fate has already been completed. I thought there was Dane's line. That means... That's it. So that means... No need to worry about Captain Dane's life. He's absolutely fine. The only reason he lost the eye was because I happened to guess exactly what he was planning. But I think Dane knows that this is a plan. Captain Dainsliff has had the eye inside his body this whole time, hasn't he? He had the... He didn't hide it in the chasm. He kept it with him. His plan was to lure the Abyss Order to a false location, capitalizing on their pursuit oh, of the eye, okay. in order to have okay. the chance to confront the princess. Oh, okay. That was the plan. And Kariban knew this. Hurry Ben knew this. So you're not part you're not helping the Abyss Order. He would then hand the eye to you and tell you to take it away from that location. But did we get the eye? We We didn't even know we got the eye. That way, Captain Dainsleff could accomplish his own goal yeah. and ensure the safety of the eye all at once. But they never A very that... thorough plan. Did he? That's right. Because in his mind, he had given it to you already. What? What do you mean? He gave Dane a false memory. It was a trap, right? Dane said it was a trap for the Abyss Order. Before you two entered that false location. Traveler, wait. Okay, what happened here? Hmm? It was Curry Bear that was doing this. We've no time to lose. Let's head inside. So I guess Curry Bear told him what to do. Giving him a uh, false memory. Or something. So when Dane froze up back then, it because a false memory was being planted. That was when I implanted the memory of him handing you the eye. Okay, so Dane believes that the eye is with us, but it isn't. Given the tense situation at that time, Captain Dane'sla failed to notice anything out of the ordinary. And took that memory to be real. I'm sorry, Traveler, but I needed the Loom of Fate to be completed. So you're and right. To do that, Wait, we had that to means retrieve the eye. The eye isn't with. Wait, you're twisting it back. What? Now the eye is with Dane, but Dane believes it's with us. What are you gonna do with it now? I promise I'm not trying to conceal anything from you, but 
I truly have no idea what the princess is planning. Tavat's ley line system is deeply entrenched in the planet. You twisting the ley words. lines can neither Are replace you... nor okay. extend the ones that already exist. I thought. Damn, you think chess three times over. In the face of everything they could be planning, I fear I'm too insignificant to even get a glimpse of the bigger but picture. But even you don't know what's their, what's their plan. In any case, I had my own use for the loom of fate, and my goal, at least, what is has been achieved. Goal? You remember my father, don't you? Yes, Clotar. Clotar Alberic. I believe you saw him in your sibling's memory after he used the power of the abyss to restore consciousness to my hilly churl form. I suffered from an indescribable level of mental anguish. To comfort me, my father told me a story that this was a fairy tale world where I had to take on the form of a little monster. Okay, yes. That story managed to dispel my fears, even if just for a moment. My goal was simple. To use the loom of fate in its near completed form. Near complete. When its ability to create memories was at its strongest. To implant a specific memory into the minds of the Hilla Churls. So. Which made them come? Or make them go crazy? Which one? In that memory. I would tell them the a story. story. The story makes them come. Just like my father did for me. It was a story of fairy tales and love. But that's why we hear a story. Anything, it was Karibar telling it was story. the story of us. Yeah, it was Karibar's story. That's all he wanted. Aww. I can't change the world. How would I lost the very right to exist within it? Implanting those memories, that was the most worthwhile thing I could offer. All that's left of my existence is a wisp of residual consciousness tied to the loom of fate. In truth, that trace of my consciousness should have dissipated long ago. My goal was the one thing that allowed me to hold on all this time. But now, the bedtime story bedtime is finished. Story. Now I understand why it's called bedtime story. It's finally time to rest. There's gonna be more. So we do see each other, but we can't. Well, how about a conversation? Oh my gosh. We actually can talk, but we cannot. The chance to just stop and talk like this is certainly not easy to come by. 
Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. Can't believe it's real. They're actually talking to each other. Oh my god. Traveler, please have a voice. Ether. Zach, please voice this part. That battle earlier was tough. Battle earlier? You mean... The one against Dane, I mean. That's what I thought. I didn't expect that after everything, he would still hesitate to raise his sword against me. Were it not for that, perhaps I'd still be no match for the Twilight Sword. Even after 500 years. The Loom of Fate, huh? I still haven't found a way to utilize it to its full potential. But there's still time. Before the Heavenly Principles awaken. The Heavenly Principles... is asleep. <laughs> That's why he's not doing anything. Ever since, now, ever since the cataclysm in Kanda, that theory is true. There's been no sign of activity. Not long ago, you witnessed the Hydro Archon destroy oh the Divine Throne. Oh my God! Throne. Really bringing this up? Yes. Yes. Does that mean the the Heavenly Principles should be destroying Fontaine right now, but they're not because they are asleep? Because now we know that <laughs> the Divine Throne is no more. Actually, bringing this up. Holy shit. Yes. Such a flagrant disregard for the rules. No and action, still, yes. Celestia took no action. I suppose that's, that's proof, proof enough, enough of the Heavenly Principle situation. Oh my god, this theory is true. Thank goodness this is brought up. However. The heavenly principles will, will awaken. awaken. Okay. We just don't know when that will be, <laughs> or what might trigger it. We don't know much yet about the heavenly principles, still. You could say that. Just look at Kari Bear. He was so pure and single-minded. The space we now find ourselves is a perfect representation of who he was: quiet and peaceful. Even as a hilly churl, seeing the terrible sight within the mirror wasn't enough to taint his spirit. He brought comfort to the people of this world, even though he was denied the very right to be a part of it. So ask yourself this. Who was it that deprived him of that right to exist? Of course, that's only one example. My feelings about the heavenly <coughs> principles are too complicated to explain in just a few words. Okay. <sighs> Ether? Please have a voice. You're the only one in this world who calls me that. <gasps> yes! Ether and Lumine. Only that they're real names, um, but not in this world, huh? There's so much I wanted to ask you, but for some reason, I'm huh. not interested in asking those questions right now. There's just one thing I have to ask, one thing I could never understand. Why? Aww. Why can't we continue our journey together? Is that... hmm. At the end of my journey, I arrived at a place known as the Sea of Flowers at the end. The Sea of Flowers? That's the end. We will end up at the Sea of Flowers. Do you remember? A long time ago, when we traveled between worlds together, you told me you wanted to find a place in the universe where that one flower was in full bloom. 
to have a place like that suddenly appear before me. Well, would you think of that as a coincidence? And we're probably gonna have the same thing. You mean... I miss you too, Ether. Aww. But as this war continues to rage, and as I continue to seek that final answer, I don't even know how to face myself sometimes, let alone my own brother. <sighs> huh? What's going on? This space has lost its tether. I doubt it'll be able to exist much longer. In fact, Aside from our... Oh no, with Kari back on, we won't be able to remember anything that happened here? Are you serious? We're not even gonna remember this shit? I don't know if this no voice is uh, actually supposed to happen or is it just my laptop breaking down again? I feel like it is breaking down, that's why there's no voice. What timing? Even this. This is where Ether is actually talking man, are you serious? This is not the time to break down. It is. It's hanging. Okay, there we go. If there's something he was about to say, I I didn't hear anything. Ah. <sighs> <clears throat> we all forgot everything. Oh, Paimon woke up a little earlier than you, so Paimon will fill you in. The villagers said that they saw us sleeping near the village yesterday. They couldn't wake us up no matter how hard they tried, so they decided to just bring us back here. Okay. Oh, and Game came by just now? It looked like he was injured. I guess it was Lumin battling Dane. Does that mean we are gonna battle Dane as well? Or are we gonna battle... Paimon? <laughs> if Lumin battles Dane, are we battling Paimon? Paimon, are you gonna betray me or something? He didn't say anything though. Just make sure that you were alright and left. Kinda seemed like he had a lot on his mind, but that's Dane for ya. Hmm, let's think for a second. We were in that memory, <coughs> and we saw that guy you called Curry Bear. You still remember Curry Bear? Even though... He was the missing villager that we've been trying to find, yes, right? but then, okay. And after that, uh, Paimon doesn't remember what happened. We talked for a while, yeah. Okay, at least Traveler remember this part. But I think... Wait, really? What a score! We don't, we also forgot something. Yeah. How to explain? Well, what happened after that? Well... Huh. Yeah, we forgot everything. Yes, we lost the memory as well. Just like the villagers, I guess. It's all Kari Bear's power. Ah, there you are. <laughs> Sleep on. <coughs> hey, Rob, you sure seem happy. Did something good happen? Something good? Hmm. Wasn't anything good or bad, I said. It's just that, well, the village organized another search party yesterday. 
It didn't feel right to leave all the searching to the adventurers. So there we were, searching away, when suddenly this one guy said it all came back to him. According to him, one day around dusk, he was passing by this one tree outside the village, and he saw our missing villager. Don't tell me. Did he just change the story again by adding a missing villager in? There he was. Sleeping under that tree all by himself. His parents came a little later to wake him up and they all left together. They looked like quite a happy family apparently. And after that, well, we all started to feel like that really is what happened. Kind of strange that we forgot all about it for so long. So that's how Karibas says goodbyes. Aww. Oh, and we also remembered his name. Curry Bear. Wait. No, that's not a name he didn't here change with another random person. He remembered it sooner. Oh, okay. I thought he's changing the story to someone else. No, it's still everyone remembers it's Curry Bear. Okay. That's a, yeah, make sure you remember it. Well, I hope he's happy wherever he is. Aww. And we're all relieved now that we know what happened. Yeah, she made a name for himself in here. Okay, that's nice. Seems like everyone thinks Curry Bear left the village. That's probably for the yeah. best. At least they have some sort of explanation now. The loom of fate is complete and no one else will try to con but change the memories. Hmm. Uh, Lima wonders how Atos is doing. Oh. Maybe we should go check on her. If she hasn't remembered like everyone else, we can tell her what happened. Lima didn't see her in the village just now, so she's probably at the tree. Come on, let's go talk to her. Um, we don't have to tell you I'm glad the resin is above 160 now. <laughs> First time I'm seeing it going above 160. Every time I have to condense in the in the, during lunch time so that I have extra. Okay. It's too far away. We're not in range. So bringing Nahida here was useless. <sighs> hey Atosa, how's it going? Oh, it's you two. I was just about to go looking for you. I wanted to thank you. I was part of the search party, so I... Aww. Remember what happened to Kari Bear now. Honestly, I just... Can't believe I forgot something so important. This is a different option. He want you to forget him. He wouldn't want you to forget him. This is a different option. Uh... Oh man. It's funny, but I have this feeling he told me the same thing. I just can't seem to remember when. I guess it doesn't really matter anyway. Life is made up of a series of memories. As long as I hold on to our time together, he'll always be a part of my life. I'm just happy I got to meet him. So, who cares what happens in the future, right? Um. <sighs> okay, I'll admit, I'm just putting on a brave face. I was dumped, wasn't I? Otherwise, why would he just leave like that without saying goodbye? Yeah, this was... <laughs> you don't need to comfort me. I'll be okay. It's just like Kari Bear said. It's the things we overcome that make life more precious. And you know, if he has a heart, maybe he'll come back and see me one day. Anyway, thanks for all your hard work, you two. I promise I'd help Granny to heat with something, so I should head back. Goodbye. Well, that should be it, right? Everyone's lives can go back to normal now. 
Oh, right. Weren't you about to tell Paimon what happened after your conversation with Kari Bear? <gasps> Did he give... No way, that's... Because he said the loop of fate is completed. I mean, if it's completed, we don't really need this eye thing, is it? A picture? Oh, it's a picture. Where'd okay. that come from? Look, Paimon Deep! I thought it was gonna pass the... I, but we don't even need that thing. Is it a picture of Curry Bear and us? With... What? Oh, We must get along with each other, too. Wow. A group photo from an unknown time. Wait. Wait. Is that a photo I can put in the... I know this Archon quest is done, but... How many pictures I've forgotten that we've gotten? I, I didn't put any new ones. <coughs> but this has to be able to put... It's not a, it's not the maybe it's the limited I mean it's like this I guess. So I have to put a new one. It's not even a teapot thing. Maybe it's just in our inventory. Ah, it's just a quest item. Oh man. Okay. Ah, it's just like that. Okay, we can't put it. <laughs> ah. Okay. So I can't put it here. I thought it was one of those pictures. But it's just a quest item. Okay then, so we're done with our conquest chapter 4 x 6. That's the best one. <sighs> Alright. I guess that's it for this video. Two hours. Not bad. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.